Some of us are outwardly successful, but inwardly feel unhappy and living a life lacking in purpose and meaning. The Necktie and the Jaguar by Carl Greer can help you discover what's important to you and how to go for it. For more information or to purchase the book, visit carlgreer.com. That's C-A-R-L-G-R-E-E-R.com. Grab a cup of tea or a glass of wine and tune in for Inspired Conversations with publisher Linda Joy. On Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern, Linda creates sacred space for leading female luminaries, empowering authors, heart-centered female entrepreneurs, coaches, and healers. A soulful venue where guests openly share the fears and obstacles they've overcome, wisdom and lessons learned, and the personal journey that led them to the transformational work they do in the world. Inspired Conversations to empower you on your path to authentic, soulful living. Welcome to Inspired Conversations. I'm your host, Intentional Living Guide, Mindset Mojo Mentor, and publisher of Aspire Magazine, Linda Joy. And I am so excited about today's show. One of my dearest friends, Shan Vanderly, is here with me today. And I got to tell you, anytime we circle up, magic happens. Shan is an award-winning podcaster, podcast coach, voice talent, and anxiety slayer. She lives in the small village of Sutton's Bay, Michigan. You should see the photo she takes. My God, it makes me want to move there. She lives with her beloved husband, Thomas, in their multi Himalayan shaman cat, Mulan. She is the co-founder of the award-winning Anxiety Slayer podcast, celebrating 12 years. And listen to this. They are just shy at the time of this taping of 9 million downloads, which I know they're going to bypass. Anxiety Slayer is one of the most listened to resources for people who are suffering from high levels of stress, anxiety, and PTSD. And I got to tell you, in today's times, they are such a needed resource. So my beautiful friend, welcome. Thank you, Linda. It's such a pleasure to be here with you today. Well, you know, Shan, you and I go back and got about a decade, maybe a little over, and we've become dear friends. And I've been watching this sacred work and offerings you're putting out to the world with your co-founder, Ananga, to birth Anxiety Slayer. So I'm really curious, um, because I know the backstory, but what led you and Ananga to create Anxiety Slayer and create such a platform of support for those who are struggling? Well, first and foremost, I am so incredibly blessed to be in partnership with Ananga. It's, uh, she's one of my dearest friends on this earth walk. And we teamed up all those years ago to present Anxiety Slayer with the intention of supporting anyone whose life was overshadowed by stress or anxiety. And at that time, I had been coming off of a, I'll call it a corporate role, <laughs> A corporate yeah. career. And she had been dealing with some, some very serious illness and had been studying EFT and had been immersed in Ayurveda. And she saw that I was, she actually found me online and liked my writing and saw that I was a yoga teacher at the time, had just gotten my yoga teacher training. And she she reached out to see if we might be able to come together and, and offer something or other that was going to combine yoga and Ayurveda and breathing techniques and guided meditations and things like that. So it really started out there. Then she found out that I was already doing a podcast, my This Sacred Life podcast, and we just, oh, maybe we ought to come together and create a podcast for Anxiety Slayer because we knew how many people were suffering and we had our own experiences of anxiety for different reasons. And then of course, the love for what we do and our continued study, it led us to, to where we are today. And it's just amazing, hundreds of free podcasts and, and so many in our community and our academy that, that are supported by the work that we're putting out there. I have to, I remember when you first, you know, we were first doing one of our chats and you shared the name of your podcast and I knew instantly that one it was so needed Shannon but two that it would be so highly successful because I knew the intent 
yeah. of your heart. I knew the intent of Ananga's heart. And when there's such pure intent to be of service, I knew that only success could come. And I mean, you're touching people around the world. And now, <laughs> more than ever, um, your work and the offerings of Anxiety Slayer are so needed. So how has your work with Anxiety Slayer changed since the pandemic started? Well, we're definitely seeing a lot more listeners and uh, many more people reaching out to us directly with questions and observations and looking for additional support based on a number of things. And as you might be able to guess, health anxiety is at an all-time high. So we have been doing Zoom calls and creating offerings. We call it the first responder series for anxiety attacks and for health anxiety and for social anxiety. Those are the three that we've created already. Just trying to listen. You know, we've always been in the space of wanting to contribute and support. Linda, we didn't even know we hit our first million downloads until I don't even know how many months afterwards because it wasn't about metrics for us. <laughs> it was about showing up and doing the work and being available. And so we continue to be, that's our anchor. How can we be a contribution? And at the same time, as we're seeing so much more stress and anxiety around health and immune systems, et cetera, how can we be even more available and, and do so in a holistic way? Oh, it's so beautiful. And one of the things that I noticed is what you just said is health anxiety. Just watch social media right? So that there's a resource, resources available at Anxiety Slayer that can support people through it that's so insightful and so needed. And the other part of I just heard and felt in my heart is, I love that you said, you listen. You listen mm -hmm. to the needs of your community. You listen to their hurts and their struggles so that you can rise up and serve them and create products and programs to support them and meet them where they are without judgment. Absolutely, because if we're not listening to them, they're not going to listen to us, yeah. right? <laughs> and it's such a tight knit, supportive community that I think that's the other piece that Ananga and I are so incredibly grateful for. Even in our private group on Facebook, when we're not available to to jump in and, and support somebody that might need some help immediately or what have you, there's this wonderful circle of people of members who've been with us for a long, long time that will get the ball rolling and get the conversation started and help whomever that is feel like they're being heard and, and they're being supported and that there are different things that you can do to feel better. So explain a little bit of what they can expect when they get to the Anxiety Slayers website. What are some of the resources that they'll find when they get there? Oh my goodness, so many. <laughs> First and foremost, we have over 500, well, we just hit 560 podcasts. So all of those free podcasts are available at anxietyslayer.com. And then on top of that, we have loads of additional resources, remedies, and recommendations that we use in our day-to-day -day life, as well as our Anxiety Slayer Academy, where we have created multiple programs that are online programs that are available forever once you purchase them, invest in them, that are both a combination of something to read, something to listen to, something to watch, and again, practices that we know will help a great deal. And it's a combination of breathing techniques, guided relaxations, EFT tapping, special holistic recommendations that we make, and so much more than that. Of course, our relationship, Ananga and I are, are so close that we show up in such a way where you feel like you're getting a, a big hug from a couple of women who really do care about you and want you to feel better and want you to expand in your vibrant health. Well, I have to agree with that because you and Ananga just radiate love, you know, mm -hmm. and as long as I've known you, that's your energy, that's your essence. And so I know your community feels that. And Shan, you know, I know you said you have over 550 Anxiety Slayer podcasts that are complimentary for everyone to listen to. What are some of the topics 
that our listeners can expect to find? Just about anything on anxiety relief as the overarching umbrella. But if you're struggling with sleep, if you're struggling with social anxiety, if you're trying to figure out how to live in the world without constantly feeling like you want to run and hide, if you're struggling with agoraphobia, it goes on and on and on. Pretty much anything that would fall under post-traumatic stress, anxiety, sleep is obviously huge for so many, and health, as I mentioned, but also for those who are just looking for a place to relax and unwind and be led. You hear people talk all the time about, well, sit in meditation, just go sit. And, and that's wonderful for so many, but for others, they really need to be led. And often when they're feeling, me, yeah, I need a guided meditation. Right. And, and the thing is, that's okay. Sometimes we need to be guided versus sitting. There's certain personality types, certain doshas. I am one of them. I have, I have a very high fiery pitta dosha. For me, being led is much easier than sitting because my mind will go all over the place. It's not that I don't sit because I do, but my meditation is different. It's very much like yours. I'm out in nature. Yeah. I'm walking in the woods. I'm paying attention to the sounds and scents and wildlife and the leaves crunching under my feet. And that's a form of meditation. Oh, I agree a hundred percent for years, decades, actually, I judged myself because I'd see, you know, read all the articles, sit on a cushion and be still and, you know, meditate. I never could do that until I realized washing dishes with intention and looking out at nature is meditation. Go, mm -hmm. you know, me and Dana go for our nature walks. That's our meditation. And for me, guided visualizations um, really bring me right into that place that I want to be. Yes. So thank you for sharing, Sharon. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I'd love for you to share your go-to recommendation to lower stress and anxiety. We'll be back in a moment, my friends. You're listening to Inspired Conversations. And with me today is Shan Vanderloo. Learn more about her, the sacred work she's doing in the world at anxietyslayer.com. We'll be right back. This is OTRFM part of the IOM Radio Network. Inspiration for a woman's soul. Aspire Magazine, inspiring and supporting women on the path of self-discovery. Claim your free digital subscription today, which includes access to thousands of dollars of personal development bonus gifts from Team Inspiration Partners. Claim your Aspire Magazine subscription today at subscribe to aspire.com. Hey America, we need to have a little talk. We've got more food than we know what to do with in this country, yet 17 million kids in America are struggling with hunger. Makes no sense. Luckily, the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks has volunteers gathering excess food and getting it to hungry kids. They're kind of like food angels. Hey, become a food angel yourself by supporting Feeding America in your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. We can't do it without your help. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.ohmtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Ohm Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Hi everyone, this is Shay Parker, the host of Best of the Best, which airs live right here on IOM Radio every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm super excited to bring you expert guest hosts, spiritual discussions, free psychic readings, and so much more. I can promise that you will not want to miss this one-of-a-kind, fun, yet touching, down-to-earth show. Join us every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific on OTRFM. This is Shay Parker, and I can't wait to see you there. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Welcome back, my friends. With me today is Shane Vanderleep, co founder of the award winning Anxiety Slayer podcast and community. So, Shane, I know you probably ask this all the time, 
what's your go-to recommendation to lower stress and anxiety? Ooh, that's a good question because there's so many choices. <laughs> but the very first thing that we always recommend is that you change your surroundings. If at all possible, that you get up out of your chair, look out a window, get up out of your chair, get outside. If you find yourself driving and you're, and you're feeling angsty and jangly, that, that you pull over, that you get your feet on the ground, that you take some deep breaths, that you move your body. Because oftentimes the anxiety will make you freeze. And when you freeze, you start to fixate. And when you fixate, things get worse. And so we recommend changing things up. Being, and if you can't move, to be mindful of, okay, right here, right now, I'm okay. My feet are on the ground. I'm sitting here having a conversation with my friend. I'm going to take a breath and, I, and I'm okay. The other that comes up is it's called the calming point. And so if you take your left hand and make it into a fist and notice where the middle finger hits your palm, then you'll take your right thumb and you'll press on that point, that, that pressure point, nice and firm and take three or four deep cleansing breaths. And that pressure point will start to calm everything down. It'll slow your heart rate. It will help you feel more relaxed. It's called the calm point or the calming point. And this is something I teach people to remember when they go to the dentist or doctor or when they're at school and they're stressed, they have a big test coming, or maybe you're in the boardroom this is something you can do with your hands on your lap. Nobody needs to know <laughs> while you're just allowing yourself to bring that energy back down. The other would be breathing techniques. The long exhale is a fantastic breathing exercise and so easy to do. Anybody can do it. You take a nice inhalation for the count of four and then you hold it and then you exhale for the count of seven. And, and it's okay if you can only go to three or to five. It, the, the, the whole point is, is to make the exhale longer than the inhale. Would you like to do that with me right now? Yes, please. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and take a nice inhale through our nose and count to four. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, and exhale through your mouth and with a sigh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And can you see how doing that for three or four rounds of your breath just brings you back to a more peaceful place? It's something beautiful to do before bed. It's something to do when you feel yourself getting really riled up or jangly about something that, that you want to. Like, okay, this is getting away from me. How can I bring this back in? And again, don't get too caught up on the counting. Just make it be a nice, deep cleansing breath in and out where the exhale lasts longer than the inhale. You're emptying out your lungs completely. It's powerful. And Shan, I remember reaching out to you probably five or six years ago um, when my grandson was struggling after the loss of his mom. And as you know, you know he suffers with social anxiety and, and you know the loss. And I remember you teaching me to teach him the calming point exercise. And he was in high school and you know, you, you nailed it, testing and all of that. He was using that all the time. He's 21 now, I hope he still is. But I do remember that his response to learning was, nobody will know I'm doing it, Emma. Yeah. Right, which was, which was great for a teenager. And it really truly helped him navigate some difficult times because he felt like he could, had something he could turn to and it gave him a, a more of a feeling of a sense of peace because he had some slight control over, over that situation. Have you heard that feedback before? Oh yeah, all the time. That along with the EFT tapping for anxiety relief that we teach, that is our most popular program. And it's, it's such a great place to begin because within 15 minutes or so, you're feeling so much better. You're clearing anxious thoughts. You're finding more clarity to move forward. It's just amazing when you take the steps and take action to 
give yourself the gift of, of feeling better versus why is this happening or this is going on? What's wrong with me? Has this ever happened to you? And, you know, getting in that loop of trying to feel better by finding other people who are also suffering <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and going, totally and going to, a, yeah. And instead of going to a place of, okay, I know what I need to do. I can do EFT tapping. I can do the calm point. I can do meditation, breathing exercises. I can change up my environment. I can move my body. And the list goes on and on and on. I can avoid caffeine. <laughs> I can avoid screens. Uh, I can allow myself to simplify my life. All of these things are such an incredible contribution to your peace. And it's so empowering because it's such, the practices themselves, what I love about what you teach is, they're so simple to implement, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, but even in the simplicity, they are so darn powerful. But there's no excuse. Every, every person here could do the, the three that you just named, the grounding, the calming point, and the long exhale exercise. And then as you shared, you have programs EFT for anxiety. But all of those don't need any special equipment or anything. Mm -mm. It's just something that you can just go, oh, I'm going to try this one in my spiritual toolbox. Yeah. And, and that, along with the, all of the albums that we've recorded, you know, I think we have 10 albums now of guided relaxations and, and guided visualizations. And the cool thing is Ananga is such a talented musician that I do all of the voiceover and she creates music to complement my voice. And if you want to talk about relaxing. <laughs> I, wanted, I was going to bring this up because I was going to ask you, I'm like, and Nanga is so gifted because the sounds of everything that you put out that that music, yeah, it, it's like another dimension. And yeah, she's she, amazing. She's the talent behind that. She is gifted. Yeah. So I want to give a shout out to Nanga because it's it's magical. And each um, episode that I've listened to in one of your programs, it brings you right into the present moment. I don't know what mojo she has between your gift of um, bringing us into the meditation and her gift of music. What a powerful combination. Well, she, yeah, she's a, she's a unicorn. Let's just, mm -hmm. let's just call it like it is. Yeah, she, she actually, is. she actually wrote and, and orchestrated your music for your show. She, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, she did. Six All years. those many moons ago. Yeah. Ananga, thank you again. My friend. <laughs> Yes, I just wanted to uh, um, bring that into the awareness because her music is a gift to the world. It is, so, and, I, and, I, and I'd love to share that, um, that anyone listening, if you become a patron of Anxiety Slayer, if you go to our Patreon, all of our albums are there, all of them. We have over 100 downloads immediately. So every single album, every guided relaxation, plus we included the musical tracks without voice as well. So that's something that you can take advantage of if you're interested. But I think that's beautiful. So Shan, for the, um, to be a Patreon supporter, there's various levels, correct? Correct, yes. So there's something for everyone, my friends. And I invite you to visit anxietyslayer.com. So Shan, before the next break, I, I know that you also started with um, Ananga, the Anxiety Slayer Academy. So we got the Anxiety Slayer um, podcast. Yes. And now the Anxiety Slayer Academy. So tell me what that is. Tell the listeners what that is and what sort of course offerings that you have available there. And this is for those who want to dive even deeper. Oh, I'd be happy to. Yeah, we, over the course of the years, we have been compiling the, the questions that we get the most and, and looking at our gifts and, and what we can do and how we can help people. And we decided that putting an academy together would be really helpful to pull together our combined experience of life coaching, yoga, Ayurveda, NLP, relax, you know, relaxation, hypnosis, and EFT tapping. All of that comes together in our coursework. And so we did. We built the academy and we have something for everyone. And that evolved over the years from the EFT for anxiety to uh, calming your fragile mind, which is a wonderful popular course to 
our first responder series for people who right now need to get out of an anxiety attack, who right now are dealing with social anxiety and health anxiety. And we look forward to growing the academy in, in the coming year. We're working on an Ayurveda course right now. And that is going to be very popular as we have been teaching Ayurveda from the beginning. Oh my God, it sounds so exciting to be able to dive deeper um, into getting the tools and support. In, in the um, Anxiety Cellular Academy, are there any live calls and we get to hang with you or Ananga? You know, those are coming. We have been rolling those out first in Patreon and figuring out how to move them to the Academy as well. Ooh, but, that, but there that. is something that, that I did forget to mention is that that all of your listeners can, when they visit anxietyslayer.com, we do have a free Anxiety Slayer starter course. It includes three guided relaxations. I am writing that down. And everyone, again, that's the Anxiety Slayer starter course. It's yours, free. Go over to anxietyslayer.com and listen. Maybe you're not struggling with anxiety in this moment, but maybe you have a friend, a loved one that is. What a powerful resource to share with them. I have shared the Anxiety Slayer so many times with those that I either work with, family members, because I know um, how robust the offerings are to support my loved ones in healing. As I said, um, I turned on my grandson to Shannon and Ananga's teachings. So Shannon, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back in a moment, my friends. Swing by anxietyslayer.com today to claim your Anxiety Slayer starter course. We'll be right back. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM radio network. We can all use a little more peace and joy in our lives. Don't you agree? Counselor, best-selling author, and self-nurturing expert Kelly Grimes of CultivatingPeaceAndJoy.com is passionate about empowering overwhelmed and exhausted women to live with more peace, joy, and meaning through the practice of self-nurturing. Through her experience working with individuals, speaking, providing workshops, and teaching professional and leadership development to forward-thinking organizations, Kelly knows that nurturing peace in the world begins from the inside out. That's why she created the free Cultivating Peace and Joy mobile app that brings you beautiful self-nurturing reminders, guided meditations, empowering practice tools, and daily prompts with an inspiring question to guide your daily self-nurturing practice. Download your free Cultivating Peace and Joy mobile app today at cultivatingpeaceandjoy.com. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Om Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. This is Terry Van Horn, and I want to invite you to join me for my weekly radio show, Hailing Light, on Ohm Times Radio, every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Hailing Light, we want to bring love, light, and blessings into your world. You can find out more about us at www.healinglightonline.com. Blessings. Me, a cat moving in with a new human. It took a little getting used to. She has these weird games she likes to play, like this giant feather. She sticks it in my face. I swat it away. She sticks it in my face. I swat it away. It's almost like she thinks I enjoy it. But seeing how much fun she gets out of it, well, I guess it makes it all worth it. Humans. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. <laughs> This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Welcome back, my friends. You're listening to Inspired Conversations. I'm your host, Linda Joy, and with me today is the award-winning podcaster, podcast coach, voice talent, and anxiety slayer, Shan Vanderly. So, Shan, I want to talk a little bit about not only do you have anxiety slayer, 
but you also support other women in bringing their podcast to life. And I just want to share that, even if it's just for a few moments, because you are so gifted at what you do. I've worked with you for many years on that. So I wanted to give a shout out. I know today we're talking about Anxiety Slayer. But just tell us a little bit about that sacred work you're doing in the world also, because you've worked with so many visionaries. I mean, that's a little surprise. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. what? Yeah, I have a business. It's called Podcast Bath. And because I am one of the pioneers in podcasting since I've been at it so long, a few years into it, I started having so many women reach out to me and say, how do I do that? What does that look like? What would you recommend? So on and so forth. And it was one of those moments of, oh my goodness, I simply must create this offering and create this business. I had the website built with like less than two days and I was ready to roll and have been able to do voice work and audio books and help people launch their podcasts, turnkey too. So for people who are tech shy, they don't have to worry about anything other than creating great content and I do the rest. It's so much fun. It gives me an outlet for my voice because I absolutely love voice work. And it also gives me a space for my ear because I have a really excellent ear in making sure that whatever I put out sounds as good as it possibly can. But the most important thing is an avenue for women to share their voice, yeah. to share their truth, to be in a space of having a, a partner walk with them and help them do so without having to navigate all the parts that kind of feel uncomfortable and sticky and, oh, I don't really want to deal with that. I just want to show up and speak, or I just want to share. For sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been working with you for a decade um, for every project throughout the years. Shan is my voiceover. So a lot of the commercials that you hear on my show are Shan's beautiful voice. So I wanted to bring that up because it kind of ties together with Anxiety Slayer, you are out bringing resources to, to support individuals in, in slaying anxiety and also being such a resource, right? And on the flip side with your business podcast staff, you're really doing the same. You are supporting other visionaries and bringing their message forward so they can transform lives through their message, through their work and their sacred offerings. So um, you're a multi-talented goddess, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have managed a way to corral the shiny lures that interest me. Yeah, and you do it so well. You do it so well. So I want to um, invite everyone, if, if you are ever interested in creating a podcast, please go to podcastbath.com to learn about that. And I kind of surprised Shan with that. I know we were talking. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This show is about anxiety and slaying that. But you know what? That's such a powerful service that you offer. Um, that I wanted to be sure my listeners were aware of it because I have many entrepreneurs and leaders who follow the show. So now, circling back to the topic of anxiety, <laughs> what do you see is coming next for Anxiety Slayer? I know you mentioned about the Academy is going to be expanding, but in 2022, what's your vision for, that you want to now behold? Yes, well, we're working on that right now. And a number of things have come up that that are kind of loosely woven together. And that is, of course, the expansion of, of more courses in the Anxiety Slayer Academy, the expansion of our ability to reach more people through face-to-face -face Zoom sessions. I mean, even though they're still behind a screen, we want to be more visible and available in that way for people who want to see us because we're getting more requests for that. We are also looking at how we can be of service in a bigger way for people who are looking for tools and techniques to take to their own retreats and spaces. So whether that be meditations, scripting, music, whether that be something that, that we put together for them uh, to make that available, to make it a little bit easier for them to show up. Now, that is something that we've been hearing about a little bit here and there, but it kind of lit us up when we heard about it, like, oh, this is great. We can create some of this stuff, even if it's the musical piece and the voiceover stuff, because we both love that so much. 
The other piece, I guess, would also be, we'll be celebrating 10 million downloads in the blink of an eye. And so we'll have a, a big celebration around that in our 13 year anniversary. I'm sure that'll come before that. But to just make ourselves even more available, even more accessible than we've already been, and to do so with, with the joy that we have in our hearts and to really uplift as many people as we possibly can, because we can, it, it can be done every single day. We can expand the awareness and help people lift themselves out of anxiety and have a better understanding of what it is and how to get beyond it. Oh, it's powerful. What a powerful mission, my friend. I have no doubt it will be successful. And, you know, as a spiritual mission, too, the times that we're in are calling for leaders to step up. And you yeah. and Ananda have been doing that for what, over a decade now. And now I believe your work is going to even be more, I don't know, um, I want to say magnified. Because now that the message is getting out there, come on, 10 million downloads. Yeah. You, the service... The intention behind the service is going to just continue to ripple out. But what I love about your message, Shan, is, you know, I, I've been pretty open with my listeners for three and a half decades. I struggled with severe anxiety, depression. And when you're in the midst of it, especially way back then, um, when you're in the midst of it, you really truly believe you're alone. But what I see from what you've created with the Anxiety Slayer is that you remind people they are never alone, right? Right. That there, there is a place that they can go for love, for support, for self-empowerment. And is that is that what you feel in your heart too? That like your yeah. mission has become this sense of we got gotcha. you. Yes, yeah. absolutely. We we want to be there and provide everything you need to break free from anxiety so that you can start reclaiming your life right now. Yeah, and what, like we talked about in the earlier segment is you're giving them tools and, and it's so empowering because a lot of times, and I know I did this, I looked outside of myself. Yeah. Now, when you give someone the tool of grounding, the calming point, the long exhale, that is something right in their back pocket. Instantaneously, they can implement to create change in, inside, um, create instant change in their mood their feeling of anxiety. That is powerful to me. Yeah, it is. And, and once you realize that everything you need is within you or available to you, once you have your, your anxiety slayer support kit, you know what, okay, what, what's going to work for me now? Because in some cases you can't, you can't do EFT tapping in the, in the middle of a meeting, or, or maybe you're feeling like, a guided meditation isn't what I need right now, but what I really need right now is to go get my feet on the ground or whatever it is to have that knowing, to know that you are capable of implementing any number of these tools and you will start to feel better. The grounding one um, is a big one for me. It took me years to, to, to recognize that for me sometimes especially way back then, I was always in my head. It's almost like a disconnection from my body. And that's an anxiety yeah. and PTSD response from childhood, right? Not being there. Mm -hmm. And I remember God way back when we first met, because Shan is a true nature lover and tree lover. Mm -hmm. And I remember, and you know, uh, both from my memory that you would share that you always go outside and you either sit or go near a tree um, in ground. And I remember going, what? what is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Until I did it, and I'm like, holy shit, excuse me, that folks, yeah. but it was powerful. You felt it instantly, especially if I take off my shoes. So now, you know, over a decade later, one of my favorite things to do, especially if I'm having, you know, like one of those days that we're all having in the last 18 months or uh, worry about a family member or whatever, is I go sit right against the base of the tree, barefoot, knees up, and just let myself ground that way and it's so healing but you are the first one that taught me about grounding with trees and nature and it works it's almost like it shifts you energetically right totally the, the word, yeah for me i think the word is almost like because i'm a visual person like my my energy is all staticky when i go out there 
which is anxiety or just um, flustered. I go out and it's almost like fine tuning the radio station on the old you know, radios, um, radios we had in the old days where you had to kind of fine tune it when you went through different town. And you can actually feel your energy coming back into alignment from the earth to the divine. That's what it feels like in my body now. Oh, yeah. And that's a, a beautiful way to explain it. And that's the thing when you when you're feeling so fragmented, there's nothing better than, you know, it's why I'm at Lake Michigan all the time, feet in the water. I was, we were, we were there swimming at the end of September. We were walking through the water last week. Uh, anytime I can be barefoot, whether it's on the grass or, or, you know, at the beach or whatever, it's, it's so incredibly healing. And even if you live in an urban environment, get yourself to a botanical garden, get yourself to a, a garden shop. Uh, buy some plants and bring them into your house. There's many workarounds to all of this. If you can't get right into a park right now or into a place right now where you can ground. But I must say, Linda, I had no idea that I was the, the person who influenced your grounding. And that is such a gift in, that you shared that with me. I'm so grateful because I see what a big part of your life that it's become. And it just makes my heart smile. That's Hi. so cool. I am so glad that I shared my truth with you, my friend. Yes. It just came up. I'm like, I can still remember our conversation. I remember where I was sitting in my um, big house uh, next door. Yes. And, and you know now, I mean, my daily walks around the pond um, with Dana, because we live right on the water in the middle of the woods, everyone, and there's a path. And sometimes we just walk in silence. Sometimes yes. we chat, but we're fully present with nature. We look at other mushrooms and the little critters. We walk about a mile and a half and circle back around the pond. It is so soothing to me. So yes, do I do it to have movement in my life? Yes, but we also do it. It's a spiritual practice for us. And as many of you know that have been following me, it's been a crazy 18 months for the world, but also for me and Dana with um, his two brain surgeries and my recent surgery. And, and having these tools, having tools like Shannon Ananga teach at Anxiety Slayer, having the one she taught you today, grounding, calming point, long exhale. Those are the resources that will help you navigate life with more peace and joy. Shannon, we're going to take our last final break and we'll be back in a moment. When you come back, I invite you to share any um, final maybe strategies or tools that you might want to leave our listeners in in the final segment. My friends, we'll be back in a moment. Please visit anxietyslayer.com to claim your Anxiety Slayer starter course today. We'll be right back. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Are you ready to design your best life by living from your yes instead of allowing your fears and self doubts to run the show? It's possible when you tap into and live from your inner wisdom. As an intuitive transformational life coach, Dr. Lisa Thompson merges her background as a scientist with her intuitive gifts to support and empower women just like you to embrace self-love, trust their intuition, and gracefully move forward through their fears so they can intentionally design their best life. Along with offering a variety of programs and eco-spiritual retreats, Dr. Lisa intuitively customizes her private client experiences using one or a combination of healing modalities, including past life regression, human design, and more. It's time to say yes to living your best life. Learn more at drlisajthompson.com. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment, a philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Circle of Hearts Radio is a sanctuary on the airwaves. Join me, Grandmother Alaya, in the circle on Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, as I share information to both enlighten and nourish your soul. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. 
The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. You are listening to Inspired Conversations. I'm your host, Linda Joy. With me today is the one and only Shan Vanderleek of AnxietySlayer.com. And I'm going to give an important plug for her other um, platform, PodcastBath.com, for those who are interested in starting a podcast. So, Shan, we've covered so much today. And as we just ended in the last segment, um, those resources um, that I use, that you use, that you offered through Anxiety Slayer, they work. And take it from someone that for years, okay, decades, lived <laughs> in her head and didn't even understand what the word grounding meant, didn't know what inner peace meant. And, you know, Shan, you've seen my truth, my transformation, my journey for the last over a decade. And you know the peace I carry in my heart now. Yeah. And that's um, my truth, everyone. And I want to say, if, if it's possible for me, it's possible for you. Like I said, I struggled with deep anxiety for m- most of my life. But the big thing is, my friend, you don't have to do it alone. That is why Ananda and Shan created Anxiety Slayer, a podcast as well as the Anxiety Slayer Academy. So, Shan, uh, is there anything else you feel led that you want to share in the last eight or so minutes that we have together? <laughs> Absolutely. I knew you would. <laughs> well, there's something that we didn't really talk about uh, in depth, and, and that is EFT tapping. Yes. If you're looking for a powerful self-help technique to help slay your anxiety, EFT tapping is something that we recommend. Ananga is a pioneer in tapping. She wrote a book on it 20 years ago before uh, you even heard of t- the today, you know, the world tapping events and and uh, Nick Ortner and, and, and God bless him. He does a great job. But Ananga, true pioneer of tapping. So we together, she's taught me everything I know about it in the last 12 years. But what we know is that that tapping is, it's like acupuncture for emotional healing, but you can do it for yourself and there are no needles. <laughs> You're just tapping on a sequence of, of calming meridian points with your fingertips. And one of the things, and one of the reasons why we love EFT so much for emotional clearing and, and anxiety relief is that you get to speak what's happening in your life. You get to clear it and speak it And remember when you're doing so that you love and accept yourself. So for instance, if I am feeling anxious about what's happening in the world right now and my health anxiety is high, I could say something along the lines of, even though I'm terrified of getting this disease, I love and accept myself. Even though there are so many people dying, and I'm afraid that I'm going to get sick. I love and accept myself. Even though, okay, so you go through that as you're tapping these meridian points. And then you check in with yourself. And how was I feeling at the beginning of the session versus how I'm feeling now? Maybe you tap a few more rounds and then you come back and, and, you, and you come back with hope in your statement. And the, and the hope is, even though I've been afraid, I know that I've got this. I know what to do. And I love and accept myself. Even though there's all of this information coming at me from different outlets that can stir up my anxiety, I'm okay in this moment. I'm doing just great. And I love and accept myself. And so by the time you're done with the end of that loop, with that clearing, because the statements I love in themselves are helpful, even if you can't tap the meridian points. So in our opinion, EFT should be tried for everything. (laughs) It's it's an amazing resource. It's wonderful for emotional healing and clearing. It's such an easy thing to learn. And again, we have an EFT tapping for anxiety relief course that thousands of people have taken and have found relief. So 
it's just another tool for you, for your toolkit. So look it up. You can go to anxietyslayer.com forward slash EFT and learn a bunch there. And uh, we also have a lot of free tapping sessions as well. So this isn't all about buying something. We believe me, if you search our site, you can find just about anything. I love that. And, and I love EFT um, from its power. And I probably just started using it maybe five years ago, not as consistent as I should. So thank you, because this is a message for me too, because I know it to be a powerful tool, but sometimes you forget you have that access to it. Yeah. So when they visit for someone that has, has not done it before, maybe have not even has not even heard of it before, is there an explanation of how it works and how to create the script that's right for them? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And that's at anxietyslayer.com forward slash EFT. Perfect. And everyone, I invite you, please. It's a powerful, powerful um, process, proven. And it isn't just for anxiety. You can use it for any area of your life. Anything. Um, and that's what powerful. And I know all my, I know all my, um, tapping points I do them right now as we're speaking <laughs> as you were talking I was like okay I remember them all so Shan when you and Ananga come together to create something I understand that you listen to your community mm -hmm. and then I know you too enough to know you create sacred space when you come together yes Tell us about your creation process in the last few minutes because I just find I can feel the energy and intention of what you do. So this is more from my curiosity because it's so beautiful. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, Linda, you already you already know because you and I used to meet about every week or every other yes. week for, for many, many years. years. And Ananga and I still do. We meet every week and it's usually a minimum of two hours in one session and then a second session for more business related stuff. So we make sure that we are completely up to speed and aware of each other in our lives and what's happening so that we can be available and supportive and flexible with whatever it is that's going on. Uh, we always set, set the intention around what is in the best interests of our listeners and how can we be the most supportive right now? What's happening in the world, being mindful of that, what's happening seasonally, what's happening around us, and then of course, what's happening in in England versus in the United States, because that's something that we didn't say in, in our interview is Ananga lives in just outside of London. And here I am in Northern Michigan. And we've been pulling this off for 12 years. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, so Ananga is one of the holiest people I know. I, I tend to be surrounded by some of the most amazing healers and heart-centered, wonderful leaders in this life. I'm so incredibly grateful. And of course, Linda, you're one of them and Ananga is another. So to be in her presence and for, and, and she feels the same about me and mine. And even though our practices are a little bit different, we bring together, we weave together what we do spiritually, what we do holistically, uh, our day-to-day -day lives. And then of course, what's happening within the community and how we can show up and, and serve. And you do it so magically, my friends. Thank you. You're welcome. And Shan, as our time um, together comes to an end, I want to share some links. So for everyone, anxietyslayer.com is where you want to head to get your Anxiety Slayer starter course. To learn more about EFT, you want to go to anxietyslayer.com forward slash EFT. You'll get um, tips, resources, and you'll find the EFT for Anxiety program there. And again, one more shout out for the sacred work that Shan does in the world for transformational podcast hosts. If you're interested in becoming one, learn more at podcastbath.com. Shan, we could go on for hours, girl. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. Thank you for bringing your magic to the world and to my community. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. What a blessing. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Blessings, everyone. Until next time, choose love, choose joy, choose happiness, my friends. Thanks for listening to Inspired Conversations with publisher Linda Joy. 
Join our sacred space every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern and meet leading female visionaries, empowering authors, heart-centered female entrepreneurs, coaches, and healers. Inspired Conversations with Linda Joy is a soulful venue where guests share the obstacles they've overcome, along with wisdom and lessons learned on their personal journey that led them to the transformational work they do in the world. Inspired Conversations to empower you on your path to authentic and soulful living.